Let's go ahead and walk through installing Visual Studio Code. So open up your favorite browser, and once it loads up, navigate to code.visualstudio.com. Once that loads up, you can go ahead and click on Download for Windows. And it will bring you to a Getting Started page while the download uh, is spinning. Once that completes and uh, your browser checks it for any nefarious code, go ahead and click on it to begin the installation. You can, uh, you, I guess you have to accept the agreement if you want to install it. And you can go ahead and use all the uh, default settings. I like to create a desktop icon. Maybe you don't like desktop icons, um, but there's Various settings, you can uh, add actions to your file menu and uh, add the editor as a uh, registered editor for various file types. And go ahead and click install, and the uh, installation bar will show you the progress of all these wonderful files. Once that completes, you can launch Visual Studio Code right away if you want to. Click finish, and it will load up for the first time. Once it loads up, you can check out the various settings, um, opt in or opt out for uh, Microsoft to collect all the data off your computer. And let's create a new file. So go to File, New File. You'll see a untitled uh, file that uh, displays here. I'm just going to write some Python code, print hello to the screen, and exit. And we can go ahead and save this as a Python file. So go ahead and save as. Name it whatever you'd like. I'll name it test.py for a Python script file. Once you save it and indicate that it's a Python file, it's going to ask you for the first time if you want to install an extension uh, for Python. And it's going to be installing uh, support for Python debugging. You're welcome to use Visual Studio for debugging, but for all of the um, the lessons in this class, we're going to be using the command line. So we'll be using Visual Studio to edit the Python files. It has a wonderful code editor built in, uh, excellent pretty printing, good coloring. Um, however, for uh, actually running the Python files, we're mostly going to be using the command line and command prompt. Um, I also want to show that Visual Studio supports IntelliSense, as you just saw. So when you type the word print, it will attempt to autocomplete for you, as well as display a menu of various options. So it's really nice for learning Python if you don't necessarily know the commands to use. If you begin typing a letter or various uh, commands, it will i go ahead and uh, show that for you. You can even use Visual Studio Code to run code files. However, again, we're going to be using the command line uh, in our demonstrations uh, by clicking the uh, green play looking button to run code. Um, but again, we'll open up the command prompt, uh, switch to the folder we were just in, and run the Python file. And we see here the Python file we just wrote. So quick installation of Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or ask your peers on the Blackboard Discussion Questions Board. Thanks.